the holy holy praise the lord hallelujah my brothers and sisters in christ i welcome you all in the name of jesus christ to this word of god ministry the holy of holies and today's episode holy spirit wants us to reflect sin no more do not sin any more we have this tendency to take advantage of the forgiveness that we have received in jesus christ some people consciously knowingly commit sins thinking that i can go confess and jesus will forgive my sins there are many people so confident of the forgiveness that they have received through the sacraments through jesus christ book of sirach chapter 5 verses 5 says do not be so confident of forgiveness that you add sin to sin amen in the gospel of saint john chapter 5 there we read jesus healed a man who was ill for 38 years jesus saw him lying at the pool of bethesda and jesus healed him completely and later jesus found him at the temple and gave him a warning let us read gospel of saint john chapter 5 verses 14 later jesus found him in the temple and said to him see you have been made well do not sin any more so that nothing worse happens to you amen who found him jesus found him at the temple and jesus told him three things first jesus told him see you have been made well you are healed be grateful offer thanksgiving jesus reminded him he was sick and he was healed he received the mercy of the lord and second jesus said do not sin any more sin no more what does it say that his sickness was the result of his sins not all the sufferings are the results of sins but in this case it is so jesus reminded him the cause of this condition the cause of his condition was the result of his sins so do not sin any more and jesus also warned him one more thing so that nothing worse happens to you if he sins again if he goes back to his previous life his condition could be worse it can be made worse so he is warning jesus is giving him a warning that do not sin any more if he does sin his condition may go worse praise the lord my brothers and sisters in christ this word of god invites us to reflect upon our own lives have we received a blessing a healing a restoration in our life and how did we respond were we thankful did we offer thanksgiving to the lord or do we have the tendency to go away from the lord after coming to know the way of righteousness are we tempted to turn away from the holy commandment and go and go back to our previous lifestyle today the spirit of the lord is reminding us sin no more so that nothing worse could happen in our life second peter chapter 2 verses 20 says for if after they have escaped the defilements of the world through the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ they are again entangled in them and overpowered the last state has become worse for them than the first amen this is the warning for us if we ever have the tendency if we decide to go back to our previous lifestyle after knowing the way of righteousness and giving up the holy commandment our last state would be worse than the first one so let us receive this warning from the holy spirit and ask for the grace and mercy of the lord to overpower the world to overcome all the temptations that may come in our life and today let us all pray those who are converted those who are newly converted those who have re- received a restoration in their life to receive the grace to persevere and sustain in their faith journey and we all need that grace every single human person need the grace and mercy of the lord to sustain in their faith journey to lead a holy life so let us all seek the mercy of the lord amen let us pray lord jesus we thank you and we praise you lord jesus we thank you for sending this word of god today lord jesus we pray for the grace not to sin but to be thankful to be grateful for all the blessings that we have received 
Lord, we pray in your mighty name that everyone who are struggling with the temptations of this world may have the power from above to overpower the world, to conquer the world and its desires and its temptations. Lord, we cover ourselves with your precious blood and I ask for your great mercy and your love and compassion upon all who are praying with me right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing our prayers and we seal ourselves with the precious blood, with the holy cross and we invoke the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in all the aspects of our lives. Amen. Mother Mary, please pray for us. God bless you all. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sin no more. Hallelujah. Thank you.